What's up guys, in this video we're going to be going over Roblox Studio's brand new generative AI inside of scripting in Roblox Studio. They just released this brand new AI for Roblox Studio just a few days ago I think, so let's get right into it. Earlier I made this material generator video that you can watch on my channel by clicking on this thing right up here. It should be a card that you can click on, they'll send you right to the video. Although, you can right click open that in a new tab as you're watching this one. Anyways, in order to get the AI code completion editor thing, we need to go into the file up here and then go down to beta features. And now we can turn on the AI powered code completion beta feature. In order to turn this on, you need to click on the check mark just like that, but turn it on, make sure it's not off. And as you can see by the description, it's an AI powered code completion in the studio script editor. It's based on existing scripts or with comments and the AI code suggestions will be triggered automatically. What that means is that whenever you use a comment inside of a script, it'll automatically make you some code with the AI, I believe. So now when we click on save, Roblox Studio is going to prompt you to restart Roblox Studio. That's fine, go ahead and do that. So now that you've restarted Roblox Studio, let's go ahead and add in a script that we can test with. Now you can add a script into workspace if you want, a script into server script service, or a script into starter player, wherever you want to put this, it's up to you. Now I'm just going to add mine to server script service by clicking on the plus icon to the right of it and then adding in a script. So now I've got my script here, there are two things to keep in mind. The first one is how you actually make a comment. It is with two dashes just like that that'll make your comment right here and then this is where you can say this is a comment something like this comments are mainly used for helping describe blocks of code in luau i should say but also in lots of other coding or programming languages they're useful for helping keep track of what your code does so that you can constantly remember what it's doing in case you ever forget or just need a refresher sometimes. But now Roblox Studio has added a new feature into this comment thing by adding the AI stuff with it. So keep in mind is that if I say make me some leader stats right up here, Roblox Studio is not going to do anything whatsoever about that because it doesn't have any code to run off of. What we need to do is get some code first off. Now, I'm going to make some leader stats here. I'm going to say game.players.player added. I'm going to connect a function to this. And this function is going to take the parameter of player, just like that. Now, I'm going to say local leader stats will be equal to instance.new, quotation marks, and then a folder. To the right of this, I'm going to put a comma and then player. This will parent the folder, which is our leader stats, to the player, which what we're putting inside of our leader stats. Well, which we're putting our leader stats inside of, I should say. Now we need a name for our leader stats. We're going to say leader stats dot name will be equal to quotation marks and then lowercase leader stats, just like this. This is very basic of a script, but that's because I want the AI to do the rest. In order to do this, I'm going to make a comment with the two dashes and let's go ahead and test this AI. I'm going to say make some cache stats for the leader stats above. Let's go ahead and see what this will do. Whenever you click on enter right here, Roblox will automatically let their AI spit the code out right here. And when you do this, it'll be gray automatically. But in order to actually put the code into your script, you need to press tab. Now that you've got this, the code will appear colorful again, and you can see it's normal code. And as you can see, it's got a cache leader stat here that we can put inside of our function that it also added for us up here. But we don't really want two functions running off of each other. Unfortunately, the AI cannot go above and change code already made, but it can add some code, so that's always something nice. Anyways, I'm going to take this top code here, and I'm just going to paste it into this function, because we don't need two functions running at the same time for the same thing. Now I'm just going to replace this with leader stats, because that would have given us an error of some sort. So now we've got our leader stats script here. We can go ahead and test the script out by clicking on play. When we click play, Roblox will go ahead and load our game for us here. And as you can see when I join in, I have zero cache. We can see that I have the cache up there. That is perfect. When I click stop, that will stop the game for us. And now we can get coding again. So there are several things we can do with this AI. For one, let's go ahead and see if we can give the player more cache. 
I'm gonna say give the player three cash every second that they are in the game for. Just like that, press enter after your comment and we'll go ahead and do this. This is looking pretty cool already. You can press on tab to get the code inside of my script here. And right off the bat, this is gonna work perfectly. So joining the game, there is a slight error that I did not think about, is that there is probably some sort of error in the output as I'm not gaining three cash every second. If I go into the view tab up here and then into the output, we can see there is definitely an error. If we click on this error, it will open up our script, and yes, that is why there is a period here instead of wait for child. I'm going to stop the game so we can actually make some progress editing our script. So wait for child, lead your stats just like that. That will fix our script here. Let's go ahead and click on play once again. And now inside the game you can see that my cache is going up by 3 every single second. That's exactly what we wanted and that is pretty cool. So we've already got a kind of working system here built by our AI. There's one more thing I want to test though. Is how many parts can we add or what can we do with parts I should say. In order to test this I'm going to add any part right here inside of the workspace. I'm going to scale this out a bit and I'm going to make it bright red. This will be our kill part right here. I'm going to name it to kill part. I've got my kill part right here. I'm going to go into the plus icon right next to that and then click on it and open up a script inside of our part. Now I'm going to make a few variables here so that our code has, so our AI has some code to run off of. Local kill part will be equal to script.parent. I don't know if this will be enough code, but I'm going to put a comment right here and I'm going to say make the part that the script is inside of deal damage when touched by a player. Let's see what this is going to go ahead and do, if it will do anything. I'm not sure if it's got enough code to do, to do a lot with or if something's up here, but I don't know. So yeah, I've given it a few seconds and this isn't working. Since this is so new to Roblox, I'm not exactly too certain exactly how it works entirely. But I know this probably isn't something you can do with it, unfortunately, just yet. I know, however, that since this is still in beta development and still in production, it's going to be a lot better sometime in the future, and it's going to get a lot more updates. Anyways, if you like this video as much as I did, and you think it's pretty exciting that we have our own AI to use in Roblox Studio, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. Also, make sure to watch my material generator video, as that is essential to making games with AI in the future. Anyways, I'll also be making lots of new videos with this AI in the future. If you'd like to see those, go ahead and make sure you subscribe. Goodbye, guys.